Hi friends, it's Terry Gaines. In this video, I'm sharing cards I created with the Zoo Crew Designer Series paper. This designer series paper is so cute. You receive two each of the six double-sided prints. On one side of the print, you have these adorable animals. On each design, you have the animals doing different hobbies or celebrating. And on the other side of the paper, you have these fun black and white background papers. I am creating cards that are going to maximize the paper. You'll use the design on one side for the image and the reverse side for the layering. In this, with one half of a packet, six sheets, I created 54 cards. So if you use the whole packet, you can create 108 cards using my concept. For the cards, I'm going to share the product I used. I have sentiments on my stamp set and I use the coordinating Zany Zoo um, sentiments in that stamp set. And I also used a lot of the sentiments from the Happy Labels stamp set. For those sentiments, I use the stylish shaped dies, mainly just the small banner die for some of them. I also use the, the banners pick a punch for several of them also. So all of the sentiments are used with a scrap piece of basic white cardstock. With the dies, you receive a die that will cut out one animal, cute animal per design, per, per sheet. So for example, on this page, you can cut out this cute little raccoon with the dies, or you can use the punches, and I'm gonna share that in a moment. So the stamp set has all of these images that can be cut out or stamped and cut out. You have the inside sentiments along with some of these other dies. I did use these tree dies on a couple of my cards and I just used some lemon lime, um, lemon lime twist cardstock to cut those out. So my goal in this video is to give you all the details so you can recreate these cards. I have a PDF you can download with the measurements of cutting the paper. I'll go over that in a moment, but I want to talk about the supplies you're going to need to duplicate those. On some of the cards, on the dancing cards, there's a little rhinestone element. I added that. For the punches, I used all three of the circle punches, the one and three quarters, the two inch and the two and three eighths circle punches. If you have circle dies, you can use circle dies. For adhesive, I use the stamp and seal. I use standard dimensionals and mini dimensionals. Tools, I needed a bone folder, take your pick tool, paper snips, and then a paper trimmer. So as I mentioned, I have a PDF that you can download to um, recreate these cards. I'll share more about that in a moment. So before I start on cutting the designer series paper, I want to mention that all my card bases are the basic black cardstock. When you cut the eight and a half by 11 paper and cardstock in half, you get two card bases per packet or per sheet, and you can get 48 card packets per a package of Stampin' Up! basic black cardstock. For the inside of the card, I use basic white, and I wanna give you a tip on maximizing that paper. If you take your basic white, that is eight and a half by 11, and cut it at three inches, cut it at three inches by four and a quarter, you will get six of these per sheet. And that can be the inside for your inside sentiment. So that's going to maximize your basic white for the inside sentiment. When you cut six of those out of the page, you are going to have a strip left over that you can use for the outside sentiments. So I'm loving trying to get all the basics out of the way before we get to the fun part with the designer series paper. So as I mentioned, I have a PDF that's going to give you all the cutting dimensions for all the cards I created. So when you look at this PDF, you're going to see some dimensions in an oval. That's the first cut that I suggest that you make. So if we're looking at the celebrating paper, the first cuts are going to be cutting in strips at four inches. So I'm going to take my paper trimmer and put this at four inches and cut my four strip, or I'm sorry, my four inch strips, which will give me three sections of the paper. Now I cut it this way 
because the animals, it didn't look like I could get maximize my animals if I cut it this way. Now what I can do, or actually I did, was I looked at each of these sheets individually to maximize my paper. So for this strip, this first section, I'm cutting at two and three quarters. Oops, I think I tipped that. Well, we've got to go with that. I got a slight angle on that. And then the next section I have at five and one quarter. And that leaves a four inch section on the bottom. Now, when I cut it into these sections, it basically allows me to reach a punch into the different images. So when you look at my cutting guide, um, now there's a circle to represent the punch I use, and I try to do an outline if I used a die. So you have the option of using both or just one. So what I'm going to do is show you on this sample that when I cut that paper, the next thing I did was I cut out the raccoon with the dies. Then what I did was I took this and here I punched it out afterwards. So what I also did for everybody, if you download the PDF, I have a sample of each of the cards I created with the different designer series papers indicating what I did for the dies and the punch. So we're looking at this designer series paper section in this bottom corner. So it's this card and I cut the die cut the raccoon then I cut with a th two and three eighths inch circle punch. So once I die cut this, I brought in the two and three eighths inch circle punch and I punched out that image. So I am not concerned about this side of the paper and now I'm using this side of the paper. So I'm going to maximize this to cut out as much of that raccoon image as I can. And I happen to have a little section here, but that's okay. When you put that on your card base, you've got a couple options. You can have it this way and just use that as a shadow when you attach that image. Let's make sure the card opens the right way. You can put it on like this or you can rotate it, cover up that image with the raccoon and have the balloons in here. So that is maximizing your paper. You're utilizing the black and white design for layering and you're using an image from the other side. So I have created a PDF for each one of these cards and I wanna give you some details because there's some tips and tricks on some of these. So for example, let's look at this card right here. On this card for the dog, I'm punching out with a two and three quarters circle punch. So I'm going to do that and I'm okay that I have the edge of the paper here. So I'm just putting this in to get the best image here. So this is a two and three quarters. And then the koala, I have a two inch circle punch. And I'm going to get all those little cute cupcakes in there and I'm gonna cut, almost cut off the toes there. But that maximizes that. Now when I take this paper what I'm going to do is rotate it like this. I can put this right here. I can decide how much of that black paper I wanna show, and then I can put this right here. So I am maximizing the paper, and this is such a fun way to create these cards. So, so let's talk about each one of the designer series papers and how they are cut and utilized for this project. So I'm going to bring in all of the cards I've created. Make sure I get them all on the camera here. And we've talked about the celebrating paper already. So here are the cards that I've created. So I, um, if, if I cut off the edge here, I just decided, you know, for this image, it's on the bottom. So I rotated the paper so it was on the bottom. Here's with the cutouts. So I think all of these, you can pretty much look at the image that I cut out and I just rotated the same paper. So this image is cut from this paper. So it was just a fun way to maximize this. Now I have different scenarios for each of the papers. So with the playing music paper, I have this little guy is in this packet. I cut my paper 
in this direction and then I cut it in this direction. Now, when you look at this cutting guide, hopefully it makes sense that this two and three quarters is just this first section and these other two sections are cut at four inches. And I circled the images that I chose to cut out. But the beauty of this is you can cut out different images depending on what kind of cards you wanna create. So these are the cards I created with the plain music designer series paper and i rotated the same paper so whatever design i punched out i just rotated that same designer series paper and just fit those elements right into that same card so these are all the cards that i created with this sheet of designer series paper and they are so fun this stamp set that i used for the um, sentiments happy labels it's just got some fun sentiments that worked out really well for these images so in the next paper is with the enjoying hobbies paper I also cut this into four inch strips going this way these first two strips are cut at five and a quarter and this these two pieces are extra and then these are at four inch sections you can see the images that I punched out to create the cards but for this cute llama, what I did was I cut that out. Let's see if I have that sample here. Here we go. So this was cut out of this section. What I did for this card was I cut out the llama. Then what you can do is just flip this paper over, put dimensionals on, adhere it to the card base, put dimensionals on that, and just place it right over where that image is cut out and it creates a cute card. So there are two of those in that packet, or let me rephrase that. Two of those images you can cut out by how I made my cuts. Now keep in mind there is more on this page so you can change your dimensions to maximize getting whichever image you want. So these were fun cards and this is some indoor hobbies. I shouldn't say indoor, you can do yoga outdoors, just some fun hobbies. So that's a fun design to create with. The next designer series paper is the dancing paper. I cut this in four inch sections this way. Then I cut it at four and a half this way so I could maximize this cute cat image. I chose to cut those out with the dies. So what I did was I punched them first and then die cut those. And then I chose to get these images from the insight section. And again, the three cats from that side. So the one thing I wanna mention about this paper is on the back side, we have these um, dash lines. Well, I actually would prefer to use the other designer series paper in this packet. And let me just grab that on the bottom here. The outdoor paper has these cute flowers that coordinate better with this side of the paper. So I want to share with you on this sheet of designer series paper, I want to share with you that every punch I punched out was with a two and three quarter inch circle punch. And every punch I cut out for this designer series paper was also a two and three quarter, I'm sorry, two and three eighths, two and three eighths here, two and three eighths here, because then I could use this image in this background paper. For these cards, I could use this image in this background paper. So I cut the circle the same size, but I didn't cut the, the layers the same size. You can see these are four by four, these are four by four and a half, three and a half and four. So what I'm trying to say is you can mix those designer series papers with each other. So let's talk about that a little bit. So on this, I think I shared everything I needed to share. I have a second page to the dancing paper that will tell you that I used a two and three eighths inch circle punch and then die cut the cats is optional. I didn't do it on all of those. So that will give you the details on there. And then I do wanna mention, for example, this was the edge of the paper. So I just added a little strip here to kind of add a detail there. And I did the same thing here, because as I mentioned, this paper is cut with the outdoor um, hobbies. 
and this is what this was the dancing paper so if you go to my blog there will be a direct link in the text portion of this video you can get the pdf that will give you a photo of all of these cards if you don't have the die cuts you can punch those out with a circle or use your die cuts to cut those out and you can still create some fun cards with this designer series paper now the layering part of the dancing paper was used on the um, for the enjoying the outdoors paper so i've already talked this was four by four i cut all of these out with a two and three eighths inch circle punch you have the option to cut out the skunk with the die cuts and i did that for all of my cards and for these cards i've also indicated you know all the punch sizes and have a picture of all the cards i created so i was able to get nine cards per this page and there's just some fun cards you can create and here's where i added the die cut trees to a couple of the samples and that's optional but just adorable images on this designer series paper you are going to have so much fun now the last page i want to share with you is i'm calling it all kinds of wheels paper there's bikes and and scooters and roller or um all kinds of um wheels on these cute little animals so for this paper i cut my four inch strips this way and each section i've cut different i have the dies so i wanted to cut out these cute alligators with the dies and they're harder to cut out and dupl and repurpose the paper once you cut those out so for the cards i created once i cut those out what i did was i cut the first strip here that i could get two these two images cut out but you'll notice that i only used the fox on this side but i utilized the fox down here for another card and i utilized this fox for this card so what i'm trying to say is once you cut these out mix and match how you want to put these together because it's kind of like a puzzle you can put it together however you you choose so when I cut out this section, I cut out that alligator and then I cut this extra paper here and I utilized it for some of the cards here. So that extra paper is utilized for this card. The extra paper here and here and here and here I utilized for other cards. So what I tried to show you in this diagram is I used a four and a quarter designer series paper section. How wide you make it is up to you. These two I use the four and three quarter inch section, which is from this right here. So I hope that with the cutting diagram and the photo, you can see how I created these cards. But the beauty of creating, you can create these using your own options for putting the cards together. As I mentioned, it's kind of like a puzzle. So you can really put these together in any fashion that you would like. Now, I do want to share a couple things with you. I'm providing you a free PDF. It is 13 pages. It's got all the details you need for creating these cards. It has the supply list, some notes for tips. I would love to have you in return subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, share my video, and um, keep stopping by as I show more projects that you can use to create with your Stampin' Up! product or any of your product. So the other thing I want to share with you, I mentioned that if you look in the text portion of this video, you'll get a direct link to that PDF um, on my blog. If you are watching this video during the month of June 2003, the Designer Series paper is on sale right now, along with several other designs from Stampin' Up! Check the bottom section of this text in the video or my blog post to get more details on the specials. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy creating this project. Take care and happy creating.